Hello, my name is William Hall, Superintendent of Schools for Salina USD 305. Now, I think I've shared before that a $110.7 million bond issue, about $76 million of that will be for South High School as well as upgrades to Central High School. So, you know, very, very complicated projects. And so it's extremely important that we spend a lot of time on the front end to ensure that we have the, the crucial design elements that are going to be so critically important to meet the needs of all of our kids once those projects are completed. So with that in mind, South High School has already opened, had their opening design charrette. They had that a few weeks ago and they're really looking through the process of, of what will that building look like, especially taking into account the phasing process. Because the fact of the matter is, when that project starts construction, school is going to continue. And so we have to figure out a way where we can have seamless transition and, school, and education of the kids will continue at the same time that, that construction is taking place. And so many of the design concepts that they're working through right now are based upon on trying to minimize the phasing process as well. But essentially we're looking at, at controlled entry points, as we've always stated, 42 classrooms, specific renovations to science and, and art. We're also looking at auxiliary gymnasium that will double as a storm shelter for South High. At Central High School, we're looking at eight, eight specific classrooms. Also looking at controlled entry as well, auxiliary gym that will double as a storm shelter. <clears throat> and then, of course, in both schools, we're talking about Current Tech Ed. And Current Tech Ed is going to be a vital component to the, uh, to the overall bond project. And speaking of Current Tech Ed, it's going to be critically important to the future success of our kids. We've already had many conversations about current tech ed programs and facility enhancements, adding additional programs, adding addition, additional courses. And at this point in time, we're going to be adding a number of courses and doing some facility improvements. We're looking at such things as improvements to our culinary arts. Uh, back in the day, that's when we, went, when we were attending classes, we had home ec or now it's family and consumer sciences, or now we're upgrading those to culinary arts where students can actually work in industry recognized uh, facilities for, for kitchen areas. On top of all that, we're looking at such things as video production and having audio broadcast, audio and video broadcasting studios in each of our two high schools, obvious upgrades to manufacturing of, at one of our two high schools and building construction at the other. STEM is extremely important. We've ac actually already started the implementation of STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, with the first introduction to engineering courses being offered at both of our two high schools next year. We'll have to have facility improvements uh, to help meet those needs as well. So the importance of current tech ed really comes back to the vision of the Board of Education, and that vision is that 100% of our students will graduate college and career ready. It's no longer enough that we just have students graduate from high school. We need to have them start thinking in terms of what are you going to do with your life after high school. And our responsibility under that vision for 100% of our kids graduating college and career ready is that we will be able to take them wherever they want to go. If we have a student that wants to go to engineering school at one of our four region schools, we need to have the coursework in place to get them there. If we have some students who, who maybe want to enter with a career in manufacturing, maybe be a welder or a machine tool worker, we need to have the capability of getting them to reach their goal. If we have some students who want to enter a career in nursing and possibly start out as a certified nursing assistant or a certified med assistant, why should we not provide those opportunities to get them there? That's the purpose of 100% of our kids graduating college and career ready. So these upgrades in current tech ed will help get us there. The bottom line is, another extremely important point, we have to have our students start thinking more about life after high school before they get to high school. That's why in the next several years we're going to start implementing some career awareness opportunities in our elementary schools and our middle schools. So that we have students start thinking that graduating from high school is not the end goal. That's the beginning. They need to start thinking in terms of what they're going to do with their life after high school. So 100% college career rate is going to be crucial uh, for the future of our kids now and in the next few years. All of this is very, very exciting for the Salina school system moving forward. I want to make sure that, that everyone remembers that if you have any specific questions about what's happening with the design process at your specific school or really any school within our school system, if you go to our website at www.usd305.com, all those forms are located there by building, and you can actually get caught up in exactly where we are with the design process in all 16 projects that are taking place. You know, we're entering the holiday season right now, and on behalf of the USD 305 Board of Education, I want to take this opportunity to wish all of you a very happy and joyous holiday season. We're always doing our best to make sure that, that we're doing everything to meet the needs of all of our kids. And we want to make sure that as we enter this, that everyone has a safe and joyous holiday season in the process. Learning for all, whatever it takes, that's what it's all about.